guys asked and you shall receive. Today I'm here to show you a little bit more about our living wall over here at the Collector Plant location for Peace, Love and Happiness Club. So our living wall here is made up of 112 different 5 by 10 pockets. We ordered them on Amazon. They come in these little strips here. So there's 16 total of these all compiled together to make one unified living wall. All right, so taking a look at the upper left-hand corner of our living wall, this is probably one of my favorite parts of the living wall. The first plant that really took off in this section was our Anthurium vichii. This guy has put out probably about two or three leaves since we've potted him up in the living wall. You can see it's got a new leaf coming as well. I believe this one is the Silver Splash, but as you can see, this guy started to shingle naturally here onto the wall, which I thought was so, so cool. It's been really, really fun to watch. Another one that we have quite a few of mixed into the wall, um, but are super, super happy, Polonia. These guys are one that you typically see in little four inch pots. Um, but they've just really taken over here in the living wall. We're constantly trimming these guys back. They just absolutely love it. You can see this is another one that started to shingle here up at the top of the wall. Down and over a little bit. So here you can see we've got our red Maranta which is really full and lush. We've got the Philodendron Narrow. We've got a couple of these guys scattered into the wall. We've got our Begonia here. This is another one. This is probably one of the happiest Begonias in the store. Always pushing out new leaves and really, really incredible. Next is easily one of my like top five favorite plants on this wall and that is our Philodendron Giganteum. You can't go wrong with these massive leaves. This guy hasn't grown too much in this living wall yet, but over time it will definitely start to really take over. I'm really looking forward to that. Moving down, this is kind of where we keep some more moisture loving stuff as that's kind of where water trickles down when we water the wall. So we've got lots of Calathea, Maranta down here. We've got the Warsawixii, which is definitely my favorite Calathea. These guys are pretty hardy in terms of Calathea and they've got really, really nice velvety leaves that are just so, so beautiful. So another one that there's quite a few of in this living wall are the Philodendron Camposportuanum. These guys grow like crazy and they put out these adorable little leaves. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. If you guys don't have one in your collection, I definitely recommend picking one up. All right, so more towards the top center of our living wall here. This is kind of where a lot of our newer additions are. This living wall is constantly evolving. We're constantly adding things, taking things out. Um, but recently we tossed in this Philodendron Periso Verde. We've got the Philodendron Majestic back here. We've got this beautiful, beautiful Anthurium Insigni that we just added in uh, around last week. Another one that we have quite a few of here in this living wall are these Adansonii. These guys are another really good one for trailing or climbing, really easy to care for. Um, but these guys are just scattered all throughout. You can see they're putting out some pretty considerable sized leaves as they are really well rooted and established here in the wall. Of course, we can't ignore the Philodendron Pink Princess. We've got three or four of these guys scattered into the wall here, um, but this one in particular is putting out some really nice dark, dark pink variegation. These leaves are like almost black. Um, so a really eye-catching plant for sure. And of course a must have for any collector. We've also got the um, Ansonia Indonesian Mint. This is another one that we added in uh, just recently. So this one's still sort of getting itself established in here, but we're gonna allow it to climb up and hopefully it'll join these guys here up at the top of the wall and sort of start to shingle. We've got quite a few variegated Maranta. These are a more common variety, but another one that adds some really good pop of color to the living wall. 
So this was a really interesting one to add to the living wall. At one point we had quite a few of these guys in here, but we actually found that they did not work so well. That's one thing about the constant evolution of this living wall. Mealybugs were starting to sort of congregate on these guys, so we uh, cut back the number of variegated maranta that we had here in the living wall. Another one that was really interesting to see in the living wall uh, not work out was ferns. At one point we had quite a few different um, just assorted ferns in this living wall. You would think they would be really, really happy with the moisture and the humidity, but that was not the case. There's definitely a lot of trial and error in getting your living wall set up. And I would say just within the last couple months or so, we've really sort of started to get it fine tuned. But of course there's still a lot of work to be done and it will forever be changing. Of course, no living wall is complete without a Monstera Deliciosa. This guy is getting quite large and will probably be chopped back here shortly. Moving down here, this is another one of my probably like top five favorites that we've got here in the living wall and that is the Calathea orbifolia. While it isn't rare, um, it definitely is one that is just so, so beautiful and watching it get really large um, in this wall has been a lot of fun. I'm really excited to see the new growth that it pushes out throughout this next growing season. So another one that is super happy here in the living wall is the Monstera Peru or Carstinianum. Um, this is another really easy care, must have collector plant. These have been putting out really nice dark green foliage that makes for a really nice contrast here, both climbing and trailing. It's really just taken off here in the living wall. It's got a mind of its own um, and these guys have been super, super happy. Tucked back here is another one that was recently added and one of my all time favorite plants and that is the Syngonium Aria. This is one that will be so fun to watch. Um, that sort of splashy yellow variegation is just so beautiful. And I really hope to see this guy sort of fill out this space here over time. So here we have the Anthurium radicans cross luxuriens. This is one that's just starting to be a little bit more readily available, but it is an absolutely beautiful plant. Uh, you get that really, really nice texture and then that sort of elongated heart-shaped leaf these are a pretty easy to care for anthurium as well, so I definitely recommend checking them out. As for our substrate here in the living wall, this is another thing that's kind of evolved over time. So when we first started, we were using just your standard potting mix. We found that to be a little bit too heavy. Um, it was holding on to moisture too much and it wasn't all that airy. So these days I like to use a mix um, very similar to our Aeroid mix that we sell here in store. We've got some charcoal, some perlite. Uh, we use cactus soil for really good drainage um, and then quite a bit of LECA as well. Today we're gonna be tucking this ring of fire in next to the Syngonium Aurea. I think that the Syngonium Aurea with the Painted Lady and the Ring of Fire, I think they're gonna look really, really good together. Just gonna gently break up that root ball there, trying not to disturb the roots of the Syngonium too much. Now, I'm gonna position this guy so it's pointed a little bit more outwards. If we allow it to go straight up, it's not gonna look the best as it grows out. So I'm gonna go ahead and top off this pocket here with a little bit of soil. And just like that, we have a ring of fire in our living wall. So next time you're here in store, make sure to come check this guy out. It'll be really fun for all of us to watch it grow together, um, especially throughout this next growing season. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Peace out, you guys.